get right to our Selah moment. Today's word is transform. And one thing about being reset is knowing that God has transformed our life. There are many times in our lives where we settle for, I want to be better. I want to have an improved body. I want to have an improved mind. But let me tell you something. God has not given us better or improved. He has given us new because his grace is transformative. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 17 in the NIV. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. I don't know about you, but when you go from old to new, that is transformation. When you think about the dynamic of a caterpillar and a butterfly, the butterfly isn't a better version of the caterpillar. The butterfly is completely new and that is what God offers us, a complete and total transformation. If I could think of anyone in the Bible, it would be Paul. Paul went through an incredible transformation and on the Damascus Road, he was completely transformed. He was crucifying and killing Jews. And God touched his heart on the ground floor of grace. Paul was able to live for Christ and considered everything else, whatever outward appearance he had, the titles that he had, the positions, the pedigree. He says, it's all garbage because what I want to do now that I'm living a transformed life is live for Jesus. Galatians chapter two will bear witness to this. Galatians two, verse number 20 in the NIV, it says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live. That's the old, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So his identity completely changed. The old passed away. God made him completely new. And that's what we can celebrate. The fact that we are completely transformed. We don't have to rely on the identities that we have that feel comfortable in this world. You know, our marital status, our income, our occupation, how many kids we have, if we're a student, if we're single, if we're married, we don't have to rely on that. Christ says, in me, you are a new creature. And that's what we are going to be identified with. So we thank God for his grace that is transformative. So let's pray so that we can just embrace the new identity that we have in Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you that we don't have to strive for salvation. Thank you that it's not salvation plus works. It is a complete work. It is a complete transformative grace that you have given us. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for what is happening in our Reset Conference. And we pray your protection as we have this wonderful event. God, for each of my brothers and sisters that might be listening, thank you for their life. And thank you, Lord, that you are transforming us into new creatures. Lord, we just love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to look at Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along right path for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the video. See you next time.